Okay, I'd like to go go ahead and go through this uh, problem together, which we have water flowing with a velocity of, of six meters per second and through this pipe. And the, the question is, what percentage of the total head loss is caused by the elbow? Okay, so let's see. Things to, to point out about this problem. Um, let's see, we've got, they tell you things about like the velocity. We've got six meters per second. They tell you the total length is six meters of the pipe, and it's cast iron. They give you a specific roughness uh, right here, and um, gives you dimensions, the diameter, the kinematic of viscosity of the water, um, and they, the loss coefficient for the standard elbow, 0.9. What percentage of the total head loss is caused by the elbow? Okay, so really what they're talking about is the fact that, you know, that equation that we wrote down before, we have a... Uh, P1 um, over, uh, let's see, I think it's rho G. Oop. Ah. Well, let me do it this way. You have a hydrostatic term. Actually, I should get to that equation. Hold on. Hold on let me get to that term somewhere. Um, here it is. Okay. So here's our equation. And uh, what there's, oh, this equation over here, I'm sorry. This is the one that we're going to deal with. Whoops. Um, and we're looking at two loss uh, values, the HF and the HF of the fitting. And the question is, what percentage of the loss is actually due to this fitting? So uh, let's see, what are we trying to get in here? What we're trying to get here is um, HF plus HF fitting will represent the, the total loss. And what we're looking for is what, what percentage of this uh, is actually due to the elbow. Okay, so that's the fitting. So what we know about the elbow is that the H, if we go back to that equation, um, the HF fitting is the C value. It's, it's expressed here. C times uh, the one velocity head. So um, we go back here and we know that HF fitting is equal to C times V squared over two, two times gravity. This is one velocity head. Or it's equal to C 0 0.9 times V squared over two G. Now H of the fit of the, uh, let's see, the the pipe itself is, now we're going to have to go use this wacky equation. Um, uh, it goes up here. We're going to need to use this equation, um, the Darcy-Weisbach equation. HF is equal to this value. Now notice that in this value, we have a, um, we have one, uh, one velocity head, again, times these factors, times F times L, the length, over the D, the diameter of the pipe, and the F is the Moody or Darcy friction factor, and it's a function of the Reynolds number and this ratio, uh, the, 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 I guess the relative roughness, E over D. Holy cow, so we've got a lot to do, but I'm just doing this for fun to, to show you how you might do this. So we need to use what's called a Moody or Stanton diagram to derive these values. So I guess, um, so we're going to need the Reynolds number, we're going to need the E over D, so let's, uh, in order to get to H sub F, I'm going to write down this equation, uh, though, right now. H sub F equals um, F, the, the, Darcy, the Mo Darcy friction factor, the Moody friction factor, times the length divided by the diameter, times one velocity head. Um, okay, so I've written that down here. Uh, for us and what we, now what we need we know the length and we know that's six meters uh, we also know that um, the uh, we know the diameter of the pipe we can we know v squared over 2g we can calculate this this is one head one velocity head we know almost all these values now what, what we need is to get f we know that f is a function of the Reynolds number is a function of the Reynolds number and this relative roughness, E over D. So they give you the, the specific roughness up here, uh, which is the E value. 
and uh, you know the diameter. So um, uh, let me just go ahead and show you where the, um, well, the, the Moody diagram is. I'm going to go to the next page. We need the Reynolds number. So the Reynolds number we know is equal to the velocity of flow times the diameter divided by the kinematic viscosity. That's supposed to be nu. Um, so the velocity of flow, we're told in the problem, is 6 meters per second. The, uh, the um, diameter of the pipe is, what the heck is the diameter of the pipe? Um, oops, I think that's on the rest of this page. It is point, the diameter of the pipe is, is 43 millimeters. So um, that is, what am I doing here? Okay. Uh, is 0 0.043 meters. The Reynolds number is a dimensionless quality quantity. Um, and then the um, kinematic viscosity, we're told, is 1 times 10 to the minus, I can't see that, 10 to the minus 6 meters squared per second. 1 times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared per second. Now, the first thing to notice is that we do get the meters to cancel and the second to cancel. So we do have a dimensionless number, which is what we should have with the Reynolds number. So the Reynolds number is equal to, I'm just going to estimate this. Am I, <laughs> I going to estimate this? Okay, 6 times 0.043 divided by 10 to the minus 6. All right, this is what I'm going to say about that number. It is a very big number. Um, uh, six times, I'm just guessing the value, six times point, I'm going to pretend it's like point five is, is point oh, is five percent to ten percent, six point, uh, point, uh, point three times ten to the sixth. So Reynolds number is on the order of 3 times 10 to the 5th is the Reynolds number, about that. It's really 2.4 2 times 10 to the 5th, really, is the Reynolds number. Um, and the E over D value is equal to 0 0.0003, I think. Actually, now i got to go back. Uh, the roughness value is... 0.0003 meters, good. 0.0003 meters divided by the diameter, 0 0.043 meters. Again, this is um, the dimension is value, and the roughness is equal to, okay, so I'm going to do this one, is it? Um, this is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 over 43, no, 4, 3 over 43, I don't know, it's small. It's about, it's less than one, one over a hundred. It's less than point, uh, zero, zero, one. It's less than that, right? Three over four hundred feet here, over four hundred thirty. How much less is it than that? Uh, two, I'm going to change that to, uh, that doesn't. Point oh 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 eight. I'm gonna call it point oh 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 eight. Is this okay? Those are, are my values. E over D is point oh oh eight. I'm calling it roughly that. And the Reynolds number is on the order of uh, two point four times ten to the fifth. Now, how does that help us? Well, uh, that helps us because we can go down in our uh, fundamentals of reference materials, uh, which you may or may not have. You can download this to get uh, to the Moody diagram. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. And um, on this diagram, we need so the, the Reynolds, uh, the relative roughness, I said it was 0. 0.0008, something like that. So here's 0. 0.008, whereas here's this line. I said the Reynolds number was 2.4 times 10 to the fifth. So that's about 
somewhere in here, somewhere in here, that gives us a friction factor of on the order of 0 0.02. Did I do that right? Somewhere over here. To... Yeah, we'll call it, we'll call it 0 0.02 equals it is the friction factor. So um, F is about 0 0.02. Let's take that and add it to our problem here. So we've got here um, that H sub F is 0 0.02 times 6 meters over 0 0.043 meters times uh, v squared over 2g. All right, you better get this value v squared over 2g. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to kind of simplify this number. You know, I'm just doing nothing ahead, so I'm probably way off. 2 times 1, 2 times there. So 2 over 4, I'm going to call it 1 over 2. 0.15, 6 over 2.15, it's actually like 3, that's going to be about 3, 3 times 1 head, 3 times 1 head, and then this is 0.9 times 1 head, what the heck, we don't even have to calculate this head because now we're asking the percentage, um, this value right here, you see it has the this v squared over 2g in every turn, so that would drop out, so now we just got 0 0.9 over uh, 0. Uh, excuse me, over times one velocity head. I'm just going to put it like this, v squared over 2g. Uh, and then at the bottom, we factor out the velocity head, v squared over 2g. Um, and then we have, uh, um, from here, we have 3 plus the fitting, 0 0.9. Um, so uh, if I cancel these guys, what that gives me over here is that, you know, times 100%, it's 0 0.9 over 3.9. That is about, what is that, 1 fourth? 1, 10, yeah, 1 fourth, or 20%. 20%, okay, look. I rounded lots of rounding areas, areas, errors. I'm going to call this... It's probably this value right here, <laughs> but you should probably do the math um, rather than my estimating. Um, and I think you'll see that that's it comes out to be about 16 percent. 16%.